So because I have been on vacation two and a half times and I'm going on my third. Jeez. You're catching I up have... all those days, huh? <laughs> yes. Um, I think we call that COVID revenge vacation. I, 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 every time I leave somewhere and arrive at the next location and then arrive home, everywhere in between, it's just in a tangled clutter of quartz mm-hmm. coming out of a multitude of bags. So actually, prior to leaving the last location, but before arriving home, I went out to our your friend and my friend Amazon and found reasonably priced travel accessory cord organizer bags mm. with double layers. Okay. They're useful for things like cords. Oh, there they um, are. And, oh, sorry. There you go. Okay, I was showing it. Yeah, there it is. Um, and it, it is a dual thing, so there's a, there's an extra one with a pouch. I don't have anything in here yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but so I actually got two of these. They do retail for nineteen ninety nine. You can get an extra ten percent off with a coupon right now. Oh. Um, but I actually bought one of these for every bag because depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing, I take anywhere between one and three bags. But each bag also has its own dedicated cord set. I am I have also been officially put in charge of the cords for the entire family. So I have to pack enough cords for myself, my son, and my wife. Mm-hmm. Um, for phones, tablets, watches, um, Kindles. And I actually forgot the Kindle cord the last time. That wasn't good. Um, so now I have one of these bags for every bag um, with dedicated cords for whatever else goes in that bag. Um, the bags typically also have AC adapters. I'll probably move some of the AC adapters into the case so I don't just open my bag and have cord clutter everywhere. Because um, that's what happened. That, that's actually why we've missed some cords flip flopping between locations and places with stops at home things get left behind as you come home and then have to have we pull out the cords and then use them to charge things around here Mm -hmm. additionally um being away from wherever you're at for too long without access to electricity um secondary thing uh which which i purchased also on the way home um anchor wireless power bank Mm -hmm. um it's a 10,000 milliamp portable charger um, it does use USB-C to charge. That cord fits nicely in that bag as well. Nice. Um, and you literally have two USB-C ports, or I'm sorry, two USB-A ports. The C is only for charging the device. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it also wirelessly charges anything. So I can take my phone, put it on the back, I'll literally place it on the device. Let me turn it on here, I think. Yep. Yeah, we got an image here I on the... We have and when I, good. Yep, when I touch it, when I put it to the back of it, nice. It's charging the device, um, and then Is obviously you can. I, no, it's it's not magnetic. Okay, I so was just curious. I didn't know if it did the whole. If the Apple one wouldn't have been a hundred dollars <laughs> for about the same milliampere, I would have considered it. But based on the fact this can charge my watch or other devices i can actually put my phone on top of this to charge at night and have two usb cables coming out of it to charge other devices while this thing also charges um this seemed to make the best sense for a mere 36 dollars um so so super like the the cases are all getting filled up with cords those are all going into bags for the next trip um this will be the first foray we were on the beach and I ran out. I was very close to running out of battery, so I had to stop playing Pokemon Go, Aww. which saddened me. Aww. So this will hopefully solve that problem. Well, I got to tell you, I I, I got a uh, a new backpack. It was a replacement backpack for that Sassoon, the really good Sassoon backpack, and it looked like a very comparable one, um, mm-hmm. but it's purple, so that was nice. Um, and it's again, it got more pouches than I could imagine. But I really want to kind of reboot how I organize cords. And I just ordered your cord organizer. <laughs> so. The cord, so look at the cord organizer and look at mm-hmm. um, 
the gridded stuff by Cocoon. Um, so. And, and, and we, I want to also mention, because I don't think we mentioned, so it's a travel accessory, for those on audio, travel accessory cable organizer bag. Uh, the, the brand is B-U-B-M. I've never heard of that before. It looks like just kind of a generalized thing. Uh, we'll have the links, of course, in the show notes. And, of course, please, uh, affiliate links as well, so please support the show that way. Um, but uh, so, so I want to put that out there. But you were saying I need, I need to look for what, which uh, version? So, so if you go back into the doc and look at the link, um, there's, it's, I think it's pronounced cocoon, mm-hmm. um, and they have the grid organizers. Oh, and you've had, like a, you've had these before. I use these more for like oddball shaped devices. Like you can see there, uh-huh. they have the GoPro on there. Yeah, they have, yeah. Like I don't use this for cables cause it got way too messy. Hey, yeah. here's mine. Oh, there's, oh, <laughs> oh wait, see? Show, show that, show that again, Kraus. There you go. Hold on, it's not switched to you. Talk a little oh, bit more. Switched to there me. it is. Whoa! Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh, and by the way, chill. I don't mean to one up you, and mine doesn't have the fancy charging, but mine's twenty thousand mm. milliamps. Mm. Guys, I'm still using the verbatim one I bought for the ga- <laughs> the first. When remember, like five, six years ago, when we went back to the gathering with Dutters, I bought that thing, and it's still mm-hmm. like it still keeps a really good like charge on it. Like that's what I use like for for plane travel basically, to make sure I'm good. So I mean, yep. I'm not in the market, but you know, like, but you know. I mean, this was just to fit something light. So I mm-hmm. I do have I still I bet you somewhere I still have the verbatim I still have a verbatim one oh, around. Great. And it, it did. It was. Is yours the big one? It's like the yeah, big square thing. Size of an it's, iPad uh, Mini. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I don't, I don't think it's iPad mini. It, it actually, it is kind of comparable to a Nexus seven though. <laughs> the Nexus seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, it that, is. Yeah. That, that's a really good yeah, that's one. That's about too. how big this is. It's about the size of a Nexus. Oh 7. man. I'm buying more stuff now. Um, I'm, I'm buying the other <laughs> cable organizer. Cause if anything I need help with, it's cable organizing. I didn't even know the stuff that was in my backpack when I unloaded this last thing. Okay. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, Okay. All right, so um, so hopefully Missy doesn't look at my Amazon, and be like, "What are and, you getting?" And if you look at there's there's one. So while we're while we're talking about your organizing, so there's one also from Bag Smart. We may have reviewed this one on the show. Oh geez, I'm about to buy this. This too. Is, this one is really good if you're packing um, larger devices like my um, some. This is like my streaming bag. So there's an extra USB okay. camera. <laughs> um, there's the Elgato. HD 60s plus remind me and then uh, all of the cables that I would need and including so like every bag has its purpose right yeah so including the USB C Mm -hmm. hub Mm -hmm. so I can plug all the devices in um, to a device to stream Um, with 